I'm Taylor with Wildbird. Today I'm going to go through all things ring slings. We're going to talk through tips and tricks, troubleshooting, and any potential mistakes that you may come across. We're going to help out. So I'm going to go from start to finish and just go through everything. Slinging can be so quick and easy, and it's easiest if you really understand how the sling works. So let's get started. So this is a ring sling. There's two rings. And our slings are usually made of linen or model. And when we're talking about the sling, we refer to the tail of the sling a lot, which is this part. And then we have edges. So when we usually say a top edge or a bottom edge, and that's the edge that's on top by your baby's head or the bottom edge, which is underneath their knees. Um, before you practice with your baby, make sure your baby is fed and happy and help your baby realize that it's a fun, safe place to be. Bounce, go outside, make it a comfortable, fun thing to do with your baby. So the first step is deciding which side you want to wear your baby on. I like to carry my babies on my right side, so that means my rings will be on my left. Um, if someone likes to carry their babies on their left side, their rings will be usually be on their right. So the first thing I do is I hold my sling straight out in front of me and I drape it over my left shoulder. I grab the top edge of the fabric, making like this wing shape. You see how it's flat across my back? So I'm gonna bring my hand to the end and I'm just gonna gather up the tail of the sling. I'm gonna lift up the rings and put them through the bottom part and pull it all the way through. So next, I'm gonna make sure, you know how I was talking about the edges? I'm gonna make sure the edges are still in the correct spot, that it's from connecting all the way from here around my back and out through here. That this is still on the same side and it is completely straight and untwisted. And then same with this bottom edge. It starts over here, goes all the way around my back, underneath, and connects right here and out the bottom. So then I'm gonna gather up my sling again, trying not to get anything twisted. I am going to lift up the rings and separate them. I'm going to go over the top and under the bottom and pull all the fabric through the rings, just like that. So now you're going to want to make sure that nothing got twisted in the rings and everything stayed straight. So the easiest way to do this is so you take your thumb behind and you just push up on this fabric and so your, your thumbs are going in between the rings to grab the fabric in between the rings. And what you're doing is you're gonna puff up this fabric and you're gonna find each edge in between the rings. So you're wanting to make sure that this edge right here is on this side, is closest to my midline, and it's same down here on the tail. It's this edge closest to my midline. Then I'm gonna finger walk I'm just by spreading and puffing this fabric out, I'm gonna walk my thumbs all the way along to find this edge. This edge is the edge down here on the bottom, and then it's also right here on the outside part of my body. And so now that I found all those, both of those edges, I'm gonna grab them on the tail and pull straight down. And then I'm gonna pull the middle of the sling to straighten it and so with this, I feel lots of people get really confused and frustrated that it gets overlapped in the rings. And that's okay because it does tend to bunch up a little bit. But the main point of this is making sure that you can adjust the top and adjust the bottom with the tail and because it's in the correct spot in the rings. So now I could take my sling off and I could leave it like this for future use. And then when I'm ready to use it again, I don't have to re-thread it every time. I'm able to just pop it over my shoulder again, just like that.
The setup of the sling is super important. I always like to tell people that the setup is everything that has to do with comfort in a ring sling. So if you don't set up, you, you're doing a lot of adjusting and it's super complicated once you get your baby in. If you have the sling set up correctly, it will be super easy and adjusting will be very minimal when you put your baby in. So what I like to do on my setup, and I do this every time I put my baby in, so depending on your baby's size, I like to put my elbow in. So the baby that I'm using today is about eight months old. And so I like to kind of gauge um, about the baby's size. So I like to tighten around my elbow. So the point of your elbow being in here is you're creating a seat before you put your baby in. So your, your elbow is in the spot where you want their bum to be. So your, your baby's bum is gonna go in this spot. So you're gonna create like, a, you're gonna tighten around. So this is where their legs are gonna be. You're creating the seat. So I'm going to use the bottom the bottom edge and so with that I just tighten the bottom I use the edge of my fabric to tighten the bottom and you want to kind of press with your elbow to give it tension when tightening and then I'm gonna tighten the top just a little bit so usually a good gauge is like when you pull it down it's like at the top of your hip that's usually like a good way to have your sling set up so now my sling is set up and see how it's a little, a little tighter at the top, a little looser in the middle, and a little tighter at the bottom. I created this hammock shape. And now I'm ready to put my baby in. This is Senna, she's gonna help me out today. I'm gonna show you first um, some deep seat tricks. So first up, you're gonna hold your baby high on your shoulder. You're gonna reach underneath um, with your ring side hand, grab their feet, and I'm gonna show you what a deep seat shouldn't look like first. Um, so I see a lot this a lot of the times, like baby's kind of sitting on the edge of the fabric, see how her knees are kind of 90 degrees with her bum, her weight is all in her feet, like I could feel that her feet are pretty heavy. And there's an easy fix for this to get a deep seat. All you do is you lean over, put the fabric in each knee pit, and the fabric is straight knee to knee, and then you roll your baby's hips under. And so immediately that created a nice deep seat and her feet are nice and floppy now because all her weight is in her bum now. So that is my first um, deep seat trick. And I'm gonna show you another way that um, we like to help people get deep seats. You, so this helps people because um, you can see how they're in a deep seat. So I've created, I'm creating like this tube of fabric. Your baby's gonna sit on the fabric, on the tube of fabric, and I'm just supporting her back. And so see how she's in like a deep seat position. So all I'm gonna do is reach behind here and pull up this top edge all the way up to her back and then adjust. And voila, she's immediately in a deep seat. So the main thing with the deep seat is I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So fabric, knee to knee, all her weight is in her bum. The fabric is straight in between her knees and her pelvis is rolled back and her feet are floppy. And this is one of the main keys to slinging and having a comfortable slinging experience. Another way to create a seat is, I'm gonna loosen her and take her out a bit here, is, so I'm gonna hold her high on my shoulder and I'm gonna tighten my sling just a little bit because it got a little loose there. And so I'm gonna reach underneath the fabric again, grab her feet, I'm gonna take this top rail up and I'm gonna put her butt right where I want it to be in the sling. So I want it to be right in the middle and I'm gonna put the fabric right at the pits of her knees and then all I'm gonna do is lean forward and bend her knees and kind of bounce her into place. There we go. And so see how she 
rolled her pelvis backwards. And so her feet are nice and floppy and all her weight is in her bum. And so with that, lots of people um, with deep seats have a hard time if the fabric is too tight right here. So a way you can um, loosen that is make sure there's slack. So I'm gonna make sure that it's not too tight right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run my thumbs underneath the fabric and it's not too tight so I don't need to add any more slack and all her weight is in her bum. And that's it, those are my deep seat tricks. So next I wanna go into adjusting your baby in the sling. So I wanna kinda of tell you how the sling works. The sling works as a lock and key. Your baby is the weight that locks down the rings. When you lift your baby, that's what makes it, uh, the fabric able to move in the rings. So the best way to adjust your baby in the sling is you lift and you tighten. And as you're tightening, you wanna pull in the same direction that the fabric is coming from. So you lift and tighten and you pull different parts of the sling. So if I wanna adjust the top edge, I need to pull the top edge of the fabric as I lift her. If I wanna adjust this middle, I lift and pull lift and pull. You never want to adjust the entire sling at once with the entire tail. You want to adjust whatever part needs tightening. Another thing is I notice lots of people they say their baby um, is sliding down in the sling and that's usually because they're finding slack. And so a good way to make sure that you're getting the slack out of your sling is you follow. So I want to get the slack out of back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I don't really have any slack back there, but let me create some. So I'm gonna loosen this a little bit and pull some slack on my back. So I have some slack back here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the slack from around, I'm gonna go underneath her and pull this slack all the way out. See, and now I have this slack, and I'm gonna pull it out in the rings. And I'm just gonna pull it straight through the rings and say I wanted to get some slack out right here, I'm gonna pull it from back here all the way around to the rings, and then I pull that slack out right there. Another tip I have is shoulder comfort. So a lot of people, they'll find um, that they're, they say, oh, baby girl. So another slinging tip, bounce and sway, bounce and sway, <laughs> um, is that their, their neck is uncomfortable because lots of fabric is on their neck, so simply lift your baby up, pull the fabric over to create comfort in your neck. So I wanna show you um, some ring positioning tips and um, just show you some common mistakes. Lots of people say their baby's too close to the rings. And see how, how close she is to the rings right now? And see how small it made my pocket? An easy fix for this is I take my hand on my ring side, I go inside the fabric in between her bum, and this is a good way to straighten your out too if my baby is leaning. And I simply pull the fabric around, create her seat again, and there we go. Now my rings are in a correct spot. So now I'm gonna show you how to take your baby out of the sling. You hold your baby with your hands opposite the ring, you lift up on their bum, and then you lift up on the fabric, on the top ring, and pull the fabric out. You pull the fabric down over their back, and you lift them out of the top of the sling. Whenever you're slinging, I always want to make sure that you're going over your safety tips. Bum below knees, close enough to kiss, fabric tied across back, rings right below collarbone, fabric capped over shoulder. Baby should always feel safe and comfortable in the sling. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at hello at wildbird.co.